Hey guys, this is your trusted weather forecast, and today we're going to be talking about potential Hurricane Epsilon and Zeta. Epsilon could form southwest of Bermuda and impact Bermuda, while potential Zeta will likely form the Caribbean in the next couple of days and substantially impact Cuba, Jamaica, the Cayman Islands, Florida, and the Bahamas, and may bring significant impacts to those areas. Before we get into this, I'd like to ask you to subscribe. About 75% of you who watch my videos are not subscribed. So please click the subscribe button if you like weather-related content. Hit the notification bell if you not want to miss a single upload. Also, share this with friends and family and like the video to get this out to as many people as possible. Let's get right into this. This is the National Hurricane Center's website. You see two disturbances, an orange and a yellow. The orange one could become epsilon in the coming days. It has a 60% chance of formation through five days and a 40 through 48 hours. It has been designated as Invest94L, and model guidance have been consistent on a potential tropical storm or hurricane forming from this system and impacting Bermuda. This system should stay away from the United States, and the U.S. should not have to worry about it. The second disturbance in the Caribbean, however, has a 30% chance of formation through five days, and model guidance has had significant consistency with a powerful hurricane going through Cuba, Florida, and the Bahamas, and potentially even the East Coast, turning into a classic nor'easter system. These are all the potential paths Invest 94L could take, which is southwest of Bermuda right now. Most model guidance has this looping towards Bermuda, and Bermuda will likely receive effects from this. The United States should not. This is intensity guidance for Invest 94L. All of it goes into tropical storm status, with some going into hurricane status. While I do believe a Category 1 hurricane is possible from the soon-to-be Epsilon, a tropical storm at most is more likely. This is the latest GFS run for that system in the Caribbean. And you can see around October 22nd, a system starts to form where that L1003 is southwest of Jamaica, according to this run. And it starts rapidly intensifying towards the Cayman Islands into a pressure of 970. The lower the number, the stronger the system. And it rapidly intensifies even more into a pressure of 949, which is likely a major hurricane impacting central Cuba and rips right through the Bahamas, still a strong tropical cyclone, and strengthens even more around the Bahamas as it pushes northeast. This is October 26th, and you can see the storm is very strong off the coast of North Carolina as it merges with another system and impacts the northeast as still a very powerful system. And it pushes away after October 27th, and the east coast could receive substantial impacts from this system. This is the latest GDPS model run. This has a system forming around October 22nd over Jamaica as it starts intensifying over Cuba. And right when it passes Cuba, it organizes much more and passes south of the Bahamas and poses less of a U.S. threat. Question of the day for this video today is what is your favorite holiday? Comment below your favorite holiday and I'll look them over. That's your trusted weather forecast for a potential Hurricane Epsilon and Zeta. Make sure to like, subscribe, leave a comment if you want. Goodbye.